and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things and our Sewers Club Stash Builder for uh, March of 2024. I know we are in April but just the way that the Stash Builder comes it usually comes end of March or end of the month beginning of the next month and uh, it was delayed a little tiny bit this month I assume because of the holidays but we're here now we've got the Stash Builder and all is well in the world. So, um, uh, the way that I am going to be doing today's video is we're going to quickly talk about what is Stash Builder and who is Sewers Club as usual. Um, and then we're just going to, uh, take a look at the, uh, fabrics inside. I'm going to try to figure out what their names are without looking them up. And then, uh, we're going to go. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be on the quicker, easier side. I am filming this the day before it goes live, so I don't have a whole lot of time to edit them. It, so I'm not, hopefully I'm not going to volunteer myself to go find projects and stuff in the, from the past like I have been in the last few ones. But anyway, so let's just uh, talk about who Sewers Club is, what is Stash Builder and all of that jazz. Um, if you're new here and you kind of like this content, I do... Um, unboxings mostly crafting unboxings and a cat lady unboxing mostly sewing unboxings and a craft lady unboxing um, I make the projects I discuss the projects I discuss other crafting sewing kinds of things um, uh, and yeah and uh, Fridays are a long-term kind of time lapse -y project so if any of that is of interest to you think about subscribing and if you're already subscribed hello nice to have you here Nice to have you watching this video, all that jazz. So now, what is Sewers Club? Sewers Club started as a monthly subscription box where you get everything you need to make a single project. Um, if you're curious about that, I will link my last unboxing video for you. That would be March's unboxing. Um, or you can come back next week for hopefully this month's unboxing. It should be up next Wednesday. Um, there is also Stash Builder, uh, another kind of subscription that Sewers Club offers, and that is where you can get um, your choice of fat quarters or half yards. Um, you get, you can choose between 5, 10, and 15 fat quarters or 3, 5, or 7 half yard cuts in varying themes and colors. You get to decide which um, themes or colors you want, which ones you don't want. Um, it's highly customizable. Uh, you can also choose your delivery schedule. You can get them monthly like I do. Uh, Bi-monthly, so I think every second month, I believe, and then quarterly. So you can get that every three months and then there's billed accordingly. So I get this every single month. Um, I know that one of the subscribers on here, I think she gets it quarterly, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so she's always excited to see what comes up. Um, it might be bi-monthly, but I think it's quarterly. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can kind of choose what works best for you. I, I went monthly because uh, I like doing these unboxing videos for you. Um, and a lot of the projects that I make require only a fat quarter of fabric. So it's kind of nice to always have stuff on hand. Um, and if either of the boxes interest you, I do have an affiliate code with them. Uh, code FRED will save you $12 Canadian on your first project builder box. And code FRED30 will save you 30% on your first stash builder box, stash builder bundle. Um, because it's so highly customizable, uh, the 30% is nice because, right, depending on if you get the 5 or the 15 or the 10 half yards or something, the pricing is always different. So a uh, nice 30% makes everything make sense. So with all of that, oh, wait, and I do need to say, I keep forgetting lately, that um, this is an affiliate code, so I do make a small commission off of it. Um, I make a small commission, you save some money, Sewers Club potentially gets a new customer, so it's kind of a win all the way around. Um, and it's a, really a double win for Sewers Club because um, I usually just convert any money that uh, they give me back into fabric in their store. So with all of that being said, let's take a look 
inside of here. As you saw, I opened it up for you on ooh, in screen in the beginning, but I have not seen what's inside. Here's our first bundle. That's familiar. This is familiar. Ooh, chickens. All right. Um, some of these look familiar. Some of these look familiar. Huh. One of these is a repeat from a previous stash builder. Um, one of these is a repeat from Project Box ish, maybe. And one of these is a batik that I keep getting over and over again. Um, another batik that I get over again. This one I wonder if I've had before. It looks very familiar. We've got one shimmer, and we've got one, two, two batiks, three batiks. Are you a batik? Yeah, you're a batik too. Four batiks. All right. So let's start with the chickens. So in every box, you get this lovely card and it tells you what came in the box. I believe that it is written in some sort of order, but I usually end up messing it up before we go any further. So anyway, first off, we have got Countryside Comforts in Black Hens. That is really, really cool. I like that fabric. I've had a couple of chicken fabrics in the past. Here's a photo of the other chicken fabrics. Because like I said, I'm not going to do inserts or anything. And then I give you an insert. But um, I like chicken fabrics. I don't know what to do with chicken fabrics or with most like animal printed fabrics like that. But I like collecting them. And at some point in the future, I know that I will have it. All right, and then I believe that this one here is called The Road Home in Rust Dots. I say that because I've had, I got this in a stash builder box um, last year and I made this thing with it. I was kind of experimenting with um, um, jelly rolls and piecing things together and kind of just having fun and I end up making this like little bag thing and then this here was the perfect uh, uh, lining fabric so I've had that fabric before ginger and olive and cream blooms I believe that's this one I've had ginger and olive stuff in the past as well I want to say cats and dogs maybe So I keep these within reach um, on my desk because there's a spot that I can kind of just set them in as I'm looking, like if I'm organizing and stuff like that. And I thought that um, they're, they're not all here. And so I tried to do like a quick search to see if the ginger and olive were those cats or not, but um, I will put them on put it on screen if it is the cats or not. I don't know if I showed this to you because I distracted myself. But it's a really pretty little um, peachy, orangey kind of floral. It looks nice with this. It looks nice with this too. And then we've got, I know what these two are as well. This one here is Languid in Sea Mist Shimmer. So it has like a silver metallic to it. It's kind of like a snakeskin print or an alligator print. I don't know if the lighting will help fix it up or not, but it's really pretty too. I like shimmers. And then this one here is similar to stuff we've had in the past. I've had 
it in other colors, but this one is Mix Master Mash Up in Nightfall Confetti, I believe. Yeah, Mix Master Mash Up. We've had it in um, a few other colors. Uh, last April's project was strawberries, and they used Mix Master Mashup in most of those pieces. Um, and I believe that upstairs I also have a couple of um, one or two of these upstairs as well. And then we're on to this stack, and I'm going to pull this one out first because I know exactly what it is. It is part of February's project box. It is called Deborah's Garden in Lilac Mini Floral. It's so pretty. Um, I know this because I absolutely love that fabric, and it is currently sitting in my shopping or on my wish list in my shopping cart at on the Sewers Club website. All right, and now we're down to the batiks. So what we have left, uh, Portsmouth Cloud, Portsmouth in Cloud Main Floral. That's this one. Oh, it's not a batik. It looks like a batik. It's not a batik. It's just a cotton. That's really soft and pretty. It's really pretty with that purple too. <clears throat> okay, now we've got the three batiks left. And we have got Pebbles and Daisies in Light Blue Floral. That's this one. Kitten in Lilac Longing. I'm going to go with that's this one. This one here is a very popular print and we'll talk about it when I open it up for you. And then we've got Brush Strokes in Bubblegum Pink. And I know I have a bunch of these upstairs for you as well. So lots of inserts, even though I said I'm not doing any inserts today. Sorry about all the pauses. I'm also drinking a chai tea and I don't want it to get cold. So first off, we've got pebbles and daisies and light blue floral. Ooh, that's a big... Ooh. Fold in that fabric. That is pretty. I'm gonna go with some of the other blues that I've been getting in this box lately. And then this one here, Kitten in Lilac Longing. Longing. So this is a Banyan Batiks print. Um, the first time that I saw this specific print was in a Table Runner uh, two years ago three years ago. Um, one of my very first Sewers Club projects, my very first year, so 2021, I saw this print in um, blues, and I absolutely loved it. I think it's so, so pretty. Then two years ago, it showed up again in um, a shopping bag that I absolutely love too, a reversible shopping bag. And then um, it came as some of my stash builder pieces and I've used them in um, various projects through the years as well. Um, most notably this beautiful bright green in last year's um, last year's Sewers Club pattern holder thing that I made. Um, and then I'm doing a block of the month with Banyan Batiks. Um, and it's, it's called Symphony. Um, and I talk about that in like a middling of the month video called Quilt Updates, but I'm doing a block of the month quilt. And uh, quite a few of their fabrics is also part of this collection in neutrals. And um, some blues, some tans, and what have you. 
So um, as I've been struggling through all of this, you've been seeing all of the patterns that I can think of in my head pop up in the various times. So this is an extremely, extremely popular um, print design. I absolutely love it. I'm always excited to see it because it works with so many different things. Um, lastly, here is a photo of all of the, if I have any, um, uh, fat quarters left upstairs with it here. That is the photo that you were seeing. Absolutely. So pretty, absolutely beautiful fabric, easy to work with. Love it so much. And then finally, we've got brush strokes in bubblegum pink. Brush strokes is also very popular to send to me. I have it in a bunch of colors. Um, I think I even got it in last month's stash builder as well. So, um, it's also popular, right? It's a really popular, like, piecing kind of piece backing or background piece. I don't know what they, I saw them accent piece kind of a fabric. So, um, yeah, so pretty. I don't have it in this pink though. I have it in a bunch of other colors. And that is this month's, um, stash builder. Let's go through the names once again. I will list in the description box whether or not they're still available. Sometimes the names that they write down on these cards are not the names that you end up finding them by online, but um, I'll do like a little deep dive and take a look and see what's available and what's not. So quick run, we've got Countryside Comforts in Black Hens. Then we have got the Road Home in Rust Dots. Then we have got Ginger and Olive in Cream Blooms. Then we've got Deborah's Garden in Lilac Mini Floral. Mix Master and Mashup in Nightfall Confetti. Portsmouth in Cloud Main Floral. Pebbles and Daisy in light blue floral. Kitan in lilac longing. Um, brush strokes in bubblegum pink. I don't know if I call this bubblegum. I'd say it's more like Barbie pink. And languid in sea mist shimmer. There you go. Um, this one is new to me. This one I've had already in this exact same configuration. This one I believe is part of a, oh, you can't see my finger. This one is new to me. This one is one that I've already received before. This one is part of a collection I think that they've been sending out. This one here, Deborah's Garden. This fabric is from February's project box. This one here is another basic that they like to send out. This blue one here is new to me. This blue one here is new to me. This purple one is um, really, really popular and I've had it in a few different iterations over the years. Then this uh, brush strokes bubblegum pink is a very popular to throw in for um, combining colors piecework. Like I said, I had a bunch of this. And this shimmer is new to me but um, it's part of a shimmer family that I've been seeing a lot of. And that's what you have to work with. Um, I don't think that there's a standout favorite for me this month. No, I think that there's a lot that I really, really like that I'm really excited to have. Um, there's things that I can see already in my mind working with and playing around with. Um, but I don't know if I have a favorite. And that's kind of interesting. Uh, so what do you think? Did you get this box? I know you didn't get this exact box. Everybody's is um, pretty random. 
but um, if you did get your stash builder, did you get any of the same fabrics that I got? Um, did you get anything else? Or is there anything that you're really excited about? I'd love to hear it down in the comments section. Um, and I think, I think that's all I, I have for you today, really. Friday, Friday we are doing a eight part time lapse, kind of catching us up to where we're at with the cross stitch project that I'm currently working on. Uh, Monday we are looking at our So What unboxing uh, for this month. Then we've got Sewers Club on Wednesday. And then Friday after that, so this like next Friday, we are actually going to have like a mini life update and a discussion of our next uh, project that we're going to be doing on Fridays, our next Friday project. Um, then after that, we launch into, um, I believe, Cat Lady unboxing, uh, quilt updates, like this whole month is planned. So um, if any of that is interesting to you, think about subscribing, about coming back, checking out what we've got going on. Um, like the video if you like it. Again, tell me which uh, colors you like, what, your, um, what you envision some of these fabrics turning into. I'd love to hear um, what any of you have to think about, what you all think about it. And I am going to go. So with all of that being said, Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk with you again soon. Bye.